Hi, Jerry Capote here of WallDecalBusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video too, I'm going to show you how to create a picture file to be used as a store display for my Etsy shop. And I'm going to create it using Photoshop CS5. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to take this design that I created using Adobe Illustrator 2. I'm going to copy it and paste it into a into Photoshop. Um, I'm going to place a picture on Photoshop and place it in there. So let's take this Let's start here. I'm just going to click and drag to just copy the two pictures. I'm going to edit, copy. I'm going to pull up my Photoshop. There it is. And I'm going to open a picture that I have here, a picture file. And these are pictures that I've purchased uh, through iStock Photo. Um, I'm going to select this one and click open and there it is so I'm gonna use this picture and I'm gonna to go to edit and paste okay and I'm gonna paste it as a smart object so I'm gonna click OK and there it is uh, it's actually a lot bigger because remember this is a 22 by uh, you know 22 by 22 inch design so I'm gonna take it by one quarter by one corner and uh, hold down the shift key and start dragging and bring it back up So because I run out of space. Do the same thing again, shift key down, it's proportionate. I want to bring it down proportionately. I don't, don't want to misshape it by pulling it too tall or too wide. And I'm going to more or less guess what it would look like, what 22 inches tall would actually look like so that it looks almost, you know, like that's, well, that's, you know, I want to make it look like that's the actual picture and and size even though I always explain that you know it's only a sample size I can't actually make it the exact 22 inches size and looking right on the picture so that's that's an approximation this is what I do and once it's done I press enter and it's set now the picture is too big uh, right now because it's just taking up too much space here and really what I want to focus on is this here so what I use is I use this um, this cropping tool and I'm going to more or less just eyeball it here. I want to kind of keep it in the middle and right there. That looks pretty good. And crop it, enter, and that's it. That's the picture that I'm going to use for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to file. I'm going to save as, because I have to save it as a JPEG file. That's what I do. JPEG. And uh, I'm going to save it right in here, except I'm not going to save it by the same name. Otherwise, I'd be replacing my original picture. Don't want that to happen. Actually, I'm not even going to save it in here. I'm going to actually save it in the uh, folder where, um, where I have the uh, rest of the files uh, right here inside this. Uh, it's right here. New decal. There it is. I'm, so I'm going to save it in there. So all my files are all together for this design. So I'm going to call this one Angelica. Angelica, and you notice it pops up Angelica AI for Adobe Illustrator. That's because in here, if uh, you know, is that file as well. That's why it's bringing that up. But it's going to be actually Angelica JPEG. So save and click OK to the default settings, and it is ready. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I upload that picture to Etsy to create a new listing. So let's do that one next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.